Ciao Juventino of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Today we will go through the Italian and international papers to see what they are saying about our beloved Juventus. We start with a big news guys, a big, big, big phenomenal news guys, why? Because yesterday I was doing a chat and a unusual hour and then we had Animesh, Animesh who was asking actually announce Momblano. I know that a lot of you were asking to have Momblano on the channel and guys I can tell you one thing this evening at 7 p.m. my time if you are doubting what time it is just look at Juventus. Juventus has the same time as where I live so Juventus time 7 p.m. my time 7 p.m. so guys don't miss it Subscribe to the channel, put a like on the video and don't forget to put the notification ring on. This is super important, don't miss it because we will have sometimes with Luca Momblano talking about him, talking about Juve and talking about the Mercato. So guys, don't miss that one. Good news before going into the front pages, it's that Matthias De Ligt is posting a lot of pictures on Instagram. He's doing his girlfriend Anneke, he's also also doing so he's starting to feel a lot better we hope to see him as soon as possible from pages starting with Corriero dello Sport they are not talking about Juventus at all zero this is really a pity because I cannot talk a lot about Juventus about Corriero dello Sport but some news can interest us is the fact that Roma has a new owner Friedkin and Friedkin is saying that Zagnolo will not leave Roma, he is untouchable. We go on Tutto Sport because there they are speaking a bit more about Juventus, actually a lot more about Juventus. They are showing a picture of Dybala with his head looking at the ground. This was just after the injury versus Lyon and they are saying Dybala muro contro muro, Dybala wall against wall. They are saying in small letters actually that or he will stay but if he stays he has to extend his contract because his contract will make him free from 2022 so or he extend or it will be really difficult because he will go away for for zero euro guys normally you start talking about those kind of things when he has a contract for one year when he has a contract for two years i would be a bit more patient i don't know why they are really really forcing about dibala dibala out dibala out dibala out i will ask this question tonight to Luca Momblano, tell us why Tutto Sport is really going into that news. But then it's not everything because they are saying that also Chiellini is going crazy because Chiellini will not start the training on the 24 as the rest of the team. No, 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 no. Chiellini starts tomorrow. He starts immediately. What a captain showing a big, big, big example. I love it. Then we have inside Tutto Sport, we have an article about Capello, ex-trainer of Juve, who's saying Dybala, Pogba, I would not change it and then he's speaking really well about Pirlo because he said that when he saw Pirlo he was quite sure that he would be the trainer of Juventus in maximum one year. So this was about Capello and then we go inside Gazzetta dello Sport because they are speaking about Pirlo again and what are they saying that the Pirlo called Cristiano Ronaldo they have a deal a deal I don't know what they are talking about but they know I don't know from where that Pirlo called Cristiano Ronaldo they are showing a picture with Pirlo at Milan Cristiano Ronaldo at the time at Real Madrid and they are saying that they had really great affinity because great top players have a great affinity I, I don't know really strange news I think it makes sense that Pirlo called uh, Ronaldo but how do they know I don't know then we go on the front page of Gazzetta dello Sport they are speaking 
zero about Juventus. So we have two papers that are not speaking about Juventus. It's not. It's okay. It's okay. We had a lot of information with Tuto Sport. We go inside like at Zeta because they are speaking about Matuidi. Matuidi that released an interview for L'Equipe, a French paper, where he was saying actually that lockdown made his decision of leaving Juventus really clear. During the lockdown, he was thinking about his family, and that's one of the reasons why he left Juventus. He's also speaking about Sarri, saying that Sarri was a really shy man. He was working really hard on the tactics, and while Matuidi was sick, you remember he had COVID, Sarri called him every day. So he was actually speaking really positive about Sarri. Then we go to Sky Sport because they had the news and you, I know that you talked and you asked me a lot about strikers who will be our new number nine. Sky Sport is saying that Juventus is interested in signing Arsenal striker Alexandre Lacazette. Not a new hot news, but when Sky Sport is talking about it, we know that they are a bit more serious than the other ones. So Lacazette is a name to take into consideration. The last new news is a fresh hot news because Juventus looks that they are not only interested in Gosens, the fullback from Atalanta, but also Hatebur and the price should be 25 million. Hatebur want to leave Atalanta? Will Juventus be able to buy him? I don't know. Let's see. There might be a problem because PSG is really interested in Castagne, the Belgian player from Atalanta, what makes it difficult? I don't see Atalanta selling all those players and having nobody on the wings. So let's see, but it's true that we have some affinity with Atalanta. Guys, this is it for today. I spoke about a lot of news. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you are new to the channel, consider to subscribe, put a like. This is so important, putting a like on the video to make sure that it's shared with all the English-speaking Juve community. Thank you, as always, Forza Juve!